Hello, my name is Cynthia Tenalio, and I'm the academic advisor at Galena Park High School. In this video, we're going to talk about the basics to dual credit, uh, what they are, how to get enrolled. So we'll fast forward to college with advanced academics. So what's dual credit? Dual credit is a program where a student can take a college course and earn high school and college credit at the same time. The classes that students take are known as the basics in college. So many students go to a community college and they take their basic classes, which then will transfer over to a four-year university. The technical term for this are the core curriculum requirements that are established by the state of Texas. You can see here that there are several component areas for these core curriculum requirements. These are the classes that students take for dual credit. If students choose the academic dual credit pathway, uh, they take two classes at a time. Sophomore year is when this program begins. Sophomores generally take their classes at the Galena Park High School campus, so there's no need to go to the college. In the fall, they take the art appreciation class, which counts as their creative arts credit. And in the spring, they get a choice between a sociology or a government class. Junior year is also generally taught at the high school campus. In the fall, students take two classes at once. Um, they'll take the speech 1315 class and then also 1301, history 1301. In the spring, they take the English 1301 class and history 1302. These classes count also as the high school English 3 and the U.S. history credits. As seniors, students generally travel to San Jacinto College. There are buses provided, um, so parents don't have to worry about providing transportation to the college. But there, the students take English 1302 and Government 2305 or other elective classes if they had already taken that uh, government class. Those two classes count as the High School English 4 and the U.S. government requirements for high school graduation. In the spring, the students get to choose what elective classes they want to take. And again, they choose from that list of the core curriculum requirements. There are options beyond these courses, which can be found at tinyurl.com slash GPHS options. For students who are interested in earning an associate's degree while they're in high school, they must qualify for our MECA pro program, and the MECA program is the Modified Early College Academy. So these students are full-time college students and part-time high school students. Students must begin MECA the summer before their junior year. In order to qualify, these students must have successfully completed Advanced Algebra II by the end of their sophomore year. As the students are working through their associate's degree, this means that they're going to have to complete 60 semester credit hours, which means that not only are they going to be full-time college students during the school year, but they'll also be taking classes over the summer. And so that requires strict devotion by our MECA students. At the end, the students will receive an associate's degree, and these coursework uh, requirements will transfer to all Texas public institutions, most private institutions, and some out-of-state institutions. MECA students must be committed to be great college students. They must attend school every morning, Monday through Friday, from 7 to 10 a.m. The bus leaves at 6.15 a.m., from Galena Park High School. And so only the students that have the best time management and the most commitment to their studies should consider signing up for MECA. For students who want to follow the academic dual credit pathway or the MECA pathway, there are some requirements. First off, students must meet qualifying test scores. They can meet it one of two ways. The first is by passing the TSIA-2, um, by scoring a 945 on the English Language Arts Reading Multiple Choice section with at least a 5 on the essay. Alternatively, they can get meets, which is a 4,000 or higher on their English 2 EOC. Secondly, students have to complete an applied Texas application. That's the application for admission into San Jacinto College. One state requirement is that students must submit proof of their bacterial meningitis vaccine. Uh, vac vaccine. Uh, this can be done by emailing me, Ms. Tenalio, the academic advisor at ctenalio at galenaparkisd.com. And then lastly, there are some payments that dual credit students must make. 
students who want to pursue a technical field after graduation, um, specifically in the areas of air conditioning, heating, construction, cosmetology, diesel technology, electrical technology, pipe fitting, uh, medical assisting, emergency medical technicians, um, can also sign up for technical dual credit. So these students uh, take half of their day, so that's four out of the eight periods of the day, to go over to Sanjac and meet with professors that work with them in high quality hands-on courses that prepare them for a certification exam. So by the time that they're getting ready to graduate from high school, they sit for the certification exam. Um, as they pass that test, then they are certified to begin work in these fields. And so this is a great option for students who want to start work right after high school. So the tough thing about these classes is that it does take up four periods of the schedule. So that means that students take English, math, science, social studies here at the high school and then they take the rest of their courses at Sanjac. So students who are in sports or fine arts activities, which require additional electives, may not be able to do both technical dual credit and also those electives. Specifically for pipe fitting and emergency medical technician, so that's our EMT programs, those programs start senior year. So any juniors can apply for those programs, but the rest of the technical programs begin junior year. And so sophomore year would be the perfect time to apply for technical dual credit. Books are provided by Galena Park ISD. Most books uh, are digital and can be found on uh, Blackboard, which is the learning management system that San Jacinto College uses. Uh, some physical copies of textbooks may be needed, particularly in our technical dual credit classes, but all of those books are provided by Galena Park ISD. As I stated earlier, uh, especially for our seniors, some of them may take classes at San Jacinto College, and so Galena Park ISD offers transportation for those students for the periods that they require. If parents would like to transport their students to San Jacinto College, they absolutely may do so. But also just keep in mind that Galena Park ISD does provide bus transportation for the students who take dual credit classes at San Jack senior year. There are tuition and fees for students who are in dual credit. Remember that dual credit students only pay 25% of regular tuition. So what that amounts to is about $52 per academic class. So that's covered for generally two classes at a time uh, for our upper class and students, just one class at a time for our sophomores. Out of district students, which basically means um, those who don't live within the San Jacinto College Taxing District may need to pay additional fees. Our MECA students pay $52 for their first two classes, and then their additional courses are paid to San Jacinto College. They may also have additional books or fees that they have to pay for those courses. And technical students don't have to pay for their courses or their books, although there may be some fees associated with buying supplies that are required for use during the class. Remember that dual credit also receives weighted GPA credit. And so San Jacinto College follows a letter grade system where students receive an A, B, C, D, or F. And so you can see how many points each letter grade receives uh, compared to our AP courses, our advanced courses, and our regular courses here on campus. Remember that dual credit is a great way to save time and to save money. Students can get a lot of the basic courses out they would be taking the first two years of college out of the way. And also these courses are going to be a lot cheaper than taking them at U of H or UT or Baylor or other four-year institutions. The class cost is also comparable to the cost of taking an, an AP exam. And remember that in order to receive college credit, students only need to pass the class. Uh, in an AP class, the students must pass an AP test at the end of the school year. So if you have any other questions, please see me, your academic advisor, Ms. Tenalio. You can email me at ctenalio at galenaparkisd.com or you can call me at 832-386-2837. If you're interested in signing up, please sign our interest form. Uh, you can also join our Remind at the code at FutureDC.